This is our war. This fire is Australia's war. Australia's fire season is bringing widespread devastation to the country. Wildlife experts believe half a billion animals could be impacted, many of them dead. Even more are hurt. Tonight, Hoosiers are lending a helping hand to those animals specifically impacted by the bushfires. News 8's Jenny Dreisler has been looking into this. And Jenny, the efforts here locally to help, it all started on Facebook. Yeah, they did. And I spoke to Angie Turnpaw, and she says when she heard about the bushfire, she knew that she had to help. A crocheter herself, she started making baskets and pouches for the animals just yesterday. And now her efforts on Facebook are gaining traction from people all across the state. It has to be tight so that there's no holes in it for their toes to go through. Yeah, you can sit and watch TV and do it. Angie Turnpaw is a 911 dispatcher in Delphi. Tonight, she's responding to the call for help, not here, but in Australia, crocheting nests for the animals who no longer have theirs. And just to see them with the singed hair and, and all of that is just, it's, it's horrible. It's a labor of love Turnpaw started just this week, launching the Facebook group called Hoosiers Helping American Rescue Crafters Connect in an effort to get crafty Hoosiers involved here locally. You don't have to be an expert at crocheting or, or sewing or whatever. My, my daughter-in-law just learned to crochet and she's making things. They need functional, not fancy. The support came in from all across the state. Nests pouches and blankets, all made by Hoosiers looking to help. According to CNN, the bushfires, which have been burning across Australia for months, have damaged nearly 18 million acres of land. Nearly half a billion animals have been impacted. And it's a cause that hits close to home for Turnpaw. Yeah, I know, I know. That is Katniss. She's a sugar glider native to Australia. And Katniss is one of six sugar gliders Turnpaw keeps as a pet. It's one of those things that you want to do something, but you're too far away to do, you know, the physical stuff. So this is just a way that we can help. And if it helps the people who are helping the animals directly, then, you know, that's a good thing. And while rescue efforts continue in Australia, Turnpaw says the efforts of Hoosiers helping out won't slow down anytime soon. I hope that they end up with more stuff than what they need um, to take care of the animals the way they need to be taken care of. The donations will be picked up on January 24th and shipped out of the regional location in Illinois the next day.